Erica Duria is following the very latest on this. She joins us now from the newsroom. Good morning. Good morning to you guys and residents in Watertown, that suburb of Boston, have been asked to stay inside their homes. Do not open the door for anyone as police search house to house for that second suspect. The first suspect, Boston police say, is dead after a shootout with officers overnight. A very chaotic night in the Boston area, and this all started with a fatal shooting on the campus of MIT, that is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge. A campus police officer was shot and killed and then the suspects allegedly hijacked a car which resulted in a police chase about five miles away in Watertown. Then explosions were heard as officers attempted to arrest at least one suspect. Police say the suspect number one, the man in a dark hat, is dead. At least one officer is also uh, is also injured. And police are actively searching for suspect number two, the one in the white hat. He is believed to be armed and dangerous. This, this, is, an ongoing, this is an ongoing investigation. We can't we can't get into details on the on the uh, on the descriptions of the suspects or the names. We're trying to get information out to the people who live here that they should stay in their homes and not open their doors unless police officers are there. There's a 20 block perimeter around the location that Chief DeVoe just talked about. We are concerned about securing that area and making sure that this individual is taken into custody. We believe this to be a terrorist. We believe this to be a man who's come here to kill people. We need to get him in custody. Um, one thing that I just want to say is that there have been two police officers, one killed and one badly injured tonight. Our sympathies go out to Chief McMillan, who has a, a severely injured officer in the hospital, and to uh, Chief DeFavre of the MIT police, and to the families of those officers. This is a terrible tragedy. We don't want to uh, increase it. We want to be very careful of what we do here. And again, police believe these two suspects are the ones connected to the Boston Marathon bombings and these FBI photos. Police say the man in the dark hat on the left is dead. Suspect two, the man in the white hat that he's wearing backwards, is still on the loose. And again, police have told people in Watertown to stay inside their homes. Do not answer their doors as they clear the scene and search for that second suspect. Police have also suspended all bus service in that area. So it's a very fluid situation at this hour, and we will be following this all morning long, and we will bring you updates as we get it. Live in the newsroom, Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News. Obviously, the goal here to prevent these large crowds right. from gathering again. Yeah. All right, Angelica, thank you. But again, to emphasize, mass transit has been shut down yeah, in this area. That's, that's a huge, huge uh, part of the story. And Brad Hicks is live this morning in Watertown, Massachusetts. Again, a very active crime scene.